Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a haul, and this haul is art supplies. So first up, I'll just move this out of the way and bring them in. This a Prismacolor a Premier uh, Verithin. They're artist quality hard thin lead pencils. So let's have a look. tool here. Let's see if it'll cut the plastic so that I can get into the case. This is 12 through a pack. And I have some pad over here so we can Give them a little scratch and see how they look. So this is just the 12 pack. I'm not sure if they are sharp and jed. This is this end of them. So I'll open the other end. It doesn't have a nice uh, case, you know, that you can bend over and keep the pencils displayed. I don't think unless this unless this comes out. Oh, it does. So it does have something like that. And they're not sharpened. So I'll have to sharpen a few of them and give them a go. So red will pick up fine. So we have a poppy red and a crimson. So we'll go with the crimson. Um, the lead is um, hard. I mean the wood is hard. So we're going to cut this crimson and I will also sharpen the poppy. So we have an orangey red and a red. And this is a Prismacolor uh, sharpener, but it seems to eat the lead. So we'll have to examine that, I guess. Now I've heard lots of people, my preference is the Faber-Castell pencils, and I've heard many people complain about the Prismacolor about the leads breaking and whatnot, and I do have the uh, complete set of the Prismacolor, mm, the name escapes me right now, and every time I sharpen a couple of them, the leads break, so I just stopped using them. I was hoping where these were supposed to be thin, sharp, um, how do you describe them? Thin leads, hard thin leads that they would work. So it does lay down nicely here. And this is the crimson. And it's hardly making any wear on the pencil itself because there's not much lead there anyway. So that's that. And now we're going to have a look at the poppy. Oh yes, it's much, much more orange. And you can see the two of them down here together. You can really see, you know, how one leans to the blue side and one leans to the orange or the yellow side. So that's two of them. Maybe the other one will sharpen better. Well, they seem to be the same here. Okay, so let's see. And now we'll try the orange. And perhaps some um, not in the center. That's interesting. That's another complaint that the leads aren't in the center. But I thought where it was just a 12 pack, um, you know, I wouldn't be out all oh, too much money if it, they didn't work out. So this is the orange. Oh yes. So they do lay down nicely, I will say that about them. It's really not as like a hard lead because they are laying down nicely. 
So there's the difference between the crimson, the poppy red, and the orange. So that'll be all we'll do with this here. I'll get more intense with them as time goes on. But I do like how this sleeve pulls out and then you can access your pencils and then slide them back into the case to protect the leads. That's a good feature. That's that. And then the next one I bought was the Derwent Color Soft 12. I do have a few ink tents and the whole set of ink tents and another one too. Uh, all of their pastel um, pencils. So when I oil paint, I like to use them. So let's have a look at these. And this comes in a nice metal case. So let's read it. It says um, they're crafted since 1832 with traditional British uh, high standards. And um, yeah, basically they the core is supposed to be soft, so let's have a look at that. And let me see, here is a red and an orange. This color is red. And this color soft is just called bright orange. And then this is deep cadmium. So we will try each of them. So here's the red. Oh yeah, they're much uh, softer than the previous try. They do go down nicely. And here is the orange. I do like them. And then here is the deep cadmium. Very nice. And as I mentioned, it has a nice lid. 12 soft color pencils. And then we'll do the test with the eraser. So I have one more to show you and then we'll move on to that. So we'll turn this page. And then this one is of the Core Noir. Core Noir, yeah, I guess that's it. They are um, multicolored leads, the tritones, one blender pencil, and 11 crayons. Or 11 pencils, sorry. I was reading the French. <laughs> And this too comes with a case and the quality guarantee since $17.90. And here's what the lid looks like. And then this one here is, this is the blender pen. The blender pen is this. It's just um, they're made in the Czech, Czech Republic and it's just for um, blending your pencils. So this one here is Tritone Matigold. So as you can see it has light, dark, and medium in there together. It's a different kind of pencil. And then let's try this blender pen. Oh yeah, it does blend it nicely. Although a lot of uh, particles come off. Um, it's something new for me. Uh, and then we have flame. So let's see how this is going to go. So there's a yellowish orange, a darker orange. Yeah, you can see that in there. And then when I blend them together. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, more of the yellow is apparent when you blend them. 
that's interesting. And now one more will be, this one is called Sunset, and here on the side is an indication of what colors there are in there. So let's give that a go. You can see the yellow in there. Let's get the blender pencil and give that a go. Hmm. I'm almost try tempted to try one more, but I'll give it a more of that later. But here you can see on here the colors that are with this kit, so this set of pencils. So that's interesting. And then finally, the last thing that I purchased were the Dr. P.H. Martin Hydras, and this is set number one. So, um, yeah, I'll get into doing some of these. I realize there's more sets, but this was the only one that I found that was on sale, so I bought it, and hopefully I'll get the opportunity to find the rest of them at a, a price that I don't mind spending. So thank you so much for joining me today. So here's pencils number three, two, and one. And then I want to get an eraser and color through the center, see if we can get to white. So that's how that one works. Pencils number two. See how this one is going to be. I want to get a new one because I don't want to carry any of the color. So this is number two. The Derwent Color Soft. Lift up nicely. And then, oops. And then number three is the Tritones. And let's try that. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. Having a look at my haul. And as I mentioned, we will have a closer look at these as I do projects where I can use these to show you how they work. So thanks so much for joining me and taking time out of your very busy day. Bye-bye.